What's up everybody, I'm Shade, welcome back to FIFA World Ultimate Team Episode 4, as you can see, Victor Moses has finally sold, we replaced him with Aiden McGeady last episode So we now have the coins to buy Sinclair, Scott Sinclair, he's a left wing but we'll be playing him at left mid uh, He's pretty pacey, which is basically the only reason we put him in the team So we're gonna put him right now, and this is how it, the team looks The chemistry just keep going up, even though he's playing out of position but he's only there until we can buy better players. So we go into the first match of this episode. This first guy has a 4-4-2 as well. Only three gold players. Zuniga is pretty pacey there at that left uh, mid. But I'm not really worried about that team. It just looked very easy. And his record was also not the best. So we have the first opportunity here. Remy from the passes. This is such a Real Madrid-esque counter after we got the ball. And Kone inside the box. He tries to sweat it to Diaby. But Diaby hits the goalkeeper straight on. So everything but the finish was just beautiful there. We have another counter here. Kone with the long shot and so much power on that shot. But his goalkeeper, I forgot who it was. But he was um, having a pretty good game. However, from the corner, it ends up to DFB. And he just uh, he just bumped right into that player. And then he he slides on his knees. But we go 1-0 in front there. Kone is on the wing. Now he some step overs to cut inside. Didn't really fool my opponent. But then we pass it to Nocerino. Nocerino sees the run of Kone. Back to Kone. Kone makes it 2-0, a beautiful worked, uh, a beautiful team goal there, very well worked. So we go into the next opportunity here, he he gives the ball away again, this guy was just trying to kind of abuse uh, like the through balls and stuff, so it was kind of easy to intercept his passes. So this is another Real Madrid-esque counter attack, no pass is wasted, as you can see there, Kone checkmate, he's, um, he's clear basically, he's inside the box, he's gonna sweat it again. And this time Remy actually converts it because sweaty goals are the best goals. And after Remy does the dead face celebration, the game freezes and cue the disconnect right there. So the guy quits. Can't really blame him. I mean, he just had nothing going on as I said. So we win the Division 9 title and we get promoted to Division 8. Uh, we only get half of the coins though for this match as we would have if he had stayed but oh well we got um, the 3000 coins extra for winning the cup which is awesome we can buy another player now so we decide to buy our Mero the Colombian from West Ham he moved from the Serie A the guy that can decide he if he's a left mid or a left back and I really like him better at left back just because everybody likes a sweaty defense and especially full backs to deal with those pacey pacey wingers so we go into the first match of Division 8 and we come across this team, he has Jackson Martinez up front, very bad chemistry, not a very good record, um, it's not bad but it's not good either, but only my only um, threat, my only concern was Jackson Martinez there. He also had a right winger playing a striker which obviously was pacey, but this is very, this was a very very laggy game. And while we are on the topic of laggy games, as um, I missed a very good opportunity there with Remy, um, people have been asking me, some person asked me in the comments the other day if I if it also takes ages for me to find a match in this and uh, yes, as we go 1-0 in front, but yes, it does take a while to find a match and when you do find an opponent, like 50% of the time it will be laggy and um, sometimes it'll be very laggy like this game was, you can't really tell like it was super laggy but I could tell when I was playing. We have another counter here with though, Kone is inside the box, lag, 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 shoot, goal. So we go 2-0, I believe that's 2 yeah, because we, we messed up the first one with Remy. So Kone puts it in the back of the net for the 2-0 scoreline. And now after the 1-2, he dribbles beautifully past that slight tackle, and he makes it 3-0. Uh, was the first goal scored by Kone, because if it was, Kone got a hat-trick, but I, I don't really remember. And that thing was way too quick, but we do get our first 3 points in this Division 8. And no negative coin uh, thingies there, so that's awesome. But we get a silver pack for, I'm not sure actually, for maybe an accomplishment or something. But uh, it's it's always good to get free packs because you're going to get some money. You just get uh, whatever you need from that pack that you think that you either need or that you think will sell. And then just discard the rest. But we go into the final game and we I come up against my first 5 at the back opponent. And this guy was uh, pretty worrying. He had Kona up front, he had quite a few goal players there. But Kone is a very good player, as I, as I can see. He had Eriksen at camp there. And Eriksen now inside the box. He sweats it to Kone. Beautiful save by the goalkeeper. And there's some scrambling inside my area. People just falling. And I was just dreading if I'm going to get a penalty. If he's going to get a penalty, rather. But Kone plays um, the new player, Sinclair, in this match. And Sinclair, with the cross there, comes back to Remy on the far side. And Remy hits the outside netting. So we go in at halftime. The stats show that it's not... Uh, 
it's not a very interesting game as far as shots, but it's a very end-to-end -end stuff, and especially if he's, he's playing 5 at the back, he keeps trying to counter on me, and because I play position, that's very easy for him. Magidi there with the weak foot uh, effort. By the way, Magidi has, um, I believe, 3 or 4 star skills in this game. I don't get how skill moves work in this game. Either way, we are inside the box with Conan. He just fires it wide of the goal. So we're going to get another opportunity here. Remy gets the ball back from his buddy with blonde hair, Koenig. Remy inside the box. He's not going to mess up that one. So we go 1-0 in front. A very deserved goal there. Because this guy, as I was saying, as as many players do in this game in the FIFA world, they're just trying to counter you. And when you don't, when you can defend, they just have no resolve. So we cut in here with Sinclair with the fake shot back to Kone. Kone with the shot. Kone with the goal. And that is 2-0. And we are looking comfortable yet again. Especially if, because that's the how it match ends. So we get another point in Division 8. Things are looking very well. We're building our team. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't leave a like if you did. I've been Shade. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.